Let's get more details of this mission with Jeremy Wilkes, who joins me now for Talking Science. Now, normally we speak about a number of topics, don't we? But this is a big deal. So we're yes, going to yes. devote our whole segment to this. Tell us all about this mission. This, let me give you the quick overview. So Hayabusa 2 is really ambitious. It's the most ambitious asteroid mission we've ever had. What they're going to do is uh, they set off in 2014, they caught up with this asteroid, and um, tomorrow they're going to put a little uh, German-French lander down onto its surface, and then later um, in October, the um, mothership Hayabusa 2 is going to go down and take an actual sample from the surface of the asteroid, do that again later next year, and then come back to Earth with those samples, the first time we get really good samples from the inside of an asteroid. And talk a little bit about the timing of this. So it's going to happen in the early hours of Wednesday morning. Why has the team planned for... Yes, I mean, normally space scientists can organise themselves around their working day, but there's a specific reason for this. I'll talk you through the timing. At 4.58 Central European time, this little lander mascot, about this big, 30 centimetres, is going to set off from Hayabusa and drop down. 20 minutes later, it will hit the surface. And I spoke to Ralph Yao who's the principal scientist from the German Aerospace Centre, DLR, about the reason why they're, they, they're getting up so early in the morning for this. This is what he had to say. The reason is uh, we want to land uh, on, the, uh, on the Ruigu time in the early afternoon. So that means uh, we will have some sun and then we will go into the night for doing our measurements. And so the afternoon on Ruigu is the early morning in Germany. Early start there. Um, yes. In terms of, of the technology on board here and what, what they're hoping to measure, talk us through that. It's some quite groundbreaking stuff. Yes, it is. I mean, they'll be taking all the basic parameters they really need, like the temperature. They'll be taking photos, which we sh should get in a couple of days. Um, but they're also doing something really cool, honestly, because they're going to jump. They're going to hop around on the surface of the asteroid. They've got this little arm inside mascot that moves, it gives us a little bit of kinetic energy and it can jump. Again, I spoke to Ralph Yaman about why it's so important to hop around on the surface. Okay, the hopping of a mascot uh, is a real advantage for science because we will get measurements not only from one position but from two or three positions and we are sure that uh, Ruigu is not homogeneous at all, so we will get uh, information on the composition and on the structure of the surface uh, at different places and that really gives us uh, a lot of information, hopefully enough information to really understand not only the surface but also the interior of this asteroid. And Jeremy, what is it about asteroids? Why have they decided to pick this one? And you know, what can they tell us? It's, it's some, somewhat by chance that they're going to this one, but there are really three reasons to study asteroids. Um, if you look far into the future, people talk about mining them. Um, it's estimated that this particular one, Roy Goose, worth about $82 billion. Um, but nobody's going to mine it now, but the metal's on board. Um, uh, now, the other reason that you want to do it is uh, obviously for science, because the, the asteroids are made from the fundamental building blocks of the solar system, so understand them, you understand where we came from. And the other reason is that asteroids like this could hit planet Earth. It's big enough to kill millions of people if it hit a populated area, it's a kilometre in size. So if you understand them better, understand the interior structure a little bit better, then you could work out better maybe how to deflect them if one was coming towards you. And how soon will we get results really quickly? Um, over the next couple of months and particularly next year, we'll get lots of information from them. Okay, I look forward to that. Jeremy Wilkes, thanks very much indeed.